Hello, I'm Cheryl McCoy. I'm online at moodleforteachers.org and we'll be talking about your profile, how to develop your profile preferences over time and create, update, and elaborate. When you are working on your preferences, there are some basic rules that would be helpful for you. Expand, examine, and edit your preferences when you join online classes. So many times people join online classes and they won't put a picture of themselves on there. Maybe they're shy or nervous or whatever, but try to find something that represents you, even if you aren't quite ready to uh, show a picture of yourself. But I will tell you that people will be more likely to collaborate with you if you provide them with a picture of yourself. You need to be real. There's several things that can happen, but you cannot break the website. If things go wrong, don't worry about it. It happens. If you start making a lot of mistakes, it's time to take a break. A moment of pause. Long ago, I created this mantra undo is my friend and I will tell you it works as you're working on your Moodle profile it always helps to keep track of ideas and notes you have a task that is making or updating your profile making sure your profile preferences represent you well you will analyze that you can make progress notes and I've had a friend who's helped me use Google Docs. That's worked very well for me. Ask for help. If you want students to follow you and you've got to live your recommendations, keep your tasks simple. The more complicated, the higher the chance for errors. Share your successes. You know, lots of times we tell everyone what we did wrong. Why don't you tell people what you did right? If something looks good and you really feel like you did a good job of it, share that in your forum posts because it helps other people. Helps them learn and grow to, and collaborate with you. Keep your video short. Only repeat yourself for purposeful emphasis. Engage the audience. If, it inter if it's interesting to you, tell them about it. When you get ready to start your preferences of your profile or elaborate on it, you'll be working in week one of introductions and here are the directions. Update your profile by going into it and adding a description, a photo, time zone, etc. Connect your badges and put your badges in uh, mobile Mozilla open badges. Demonstrate how you navigated and updated your Moodle profile. Upload your video to YouTube or Vimeo. Post your YouTube or Vimeo video in the online discussion forum and respond to one other person. You're trying to find your profile. You've never done this before or you just need a refresher. Where can you find them? When you go into your Moodle MOOC, you will see the pointer man right here. When you see him, move your cursor across to the other side, to the right, all the way to the right. There's your image, the, your profile picture, and your name. And when you tap on that, there will be your entire name. You need to click on that. This is what you'll see. This is the table of contents. You can use it to decide which things you need to do. For instance, today we're going to go into the edit profile. Preferred language, forum preferences, editor preferences, all these others I have already completed. So what I want to do is I've got, I've got a few things that I want to edit. You have all kinds of other areas, repositories, places to keep things, your portfolios. Have you configured that? Transferred logs, miscellaneous, event monitoring, open badge settings, badge hiding, and then all about your badges and your blogs. I already have these, but you can bring in an external blog 
or you can uh, it, and register it or you can have a blog that's already set up here on the Moodle MOOC. Where do you begin in Moodle for Teachers? You complete the front page of your profile. This is what the front page of my profile looks like. We have user details and do you see where it says click on edit profile? That's where we will be going. And it has also a short little menu of ideas, lesson plans, forum discussions, my certificates, notes, which I've been using all through the time that I've been on Moodle. Once you have clicked on the name of the person, go into Preferences, Users, Preferences, Messages, whatever you want. But as I had mentioned before, this is the front page of your profile. Move down on the page where you see User Details. You should totally complete this. If you have a Skype ID, put it in. If you have an open ID, put it in. If you want a mobile app, connect it. I can come into the edit function. I can change my name or my email address or any other things that I want to do. I can come down to the picture and put in a new picture. I can browse, go to files on my computer or wherever else I may have them. I think I'll use this one. I'll put that in. Put uh, Cheryl profile pick brown blouse. I'll upload the file. There it is. If I like that, which it looks fine to me, I will click on update your profile. And in case I hadn't mentioned to you, I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to make this video. I've done everything I wanted to do. There's my new profile picture. And that's everything I'm going to do on my profile today. I hope this was helpful for you. If you like this video, or if it was useful for you, please click on the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, Into Teaching Everyone.